the land this week, the New South Wales Government has said it will legislate the right to legal access for farmers during the arbitration process uh, with coal seam gas companies and miners. The right to access legal representation during arbitration is a positive for farmers. However, there's been little done to improve the process to reach arbitration in the first place. And also another downside is that both parties have to pay for the legal representation themselves. Farmers say that uh, because of the high cost uh, involved in some cases, miners are going to be better positioned to get better representation, which will put farmers at a disadvantage. Meanwhile, the ACCC has come under pressure to rethink giving Archer Daniels Midland the green light to buy Grain Corp. A Senate committee inquiry this week highlighted the ACCC's lack of specialist skills needed to act capably as a grain industry umpire on a range of issues. Also on this week, a new multi-peril crop insurance cover formula could shore up revenue for grain farmers. Growers also weigh up the value of chasing protein in their wheat and whether it'll pay. And New South Wales farmers have launched a new program to be rolled out next month to help farmers reduce their spiralling energy bills. In the markets this week, we talked to grain growers who are holding out for better prices before they begin selling this year's grain crop. The declining Aussie dollar and Chinese demand for our wheat could be all that's buffering local growers from the effects of a big US corn crop. In livestock markets, quality is still mixed and many buyers are looking, looking to spring for the anticipated better quality and condition. That's the weekly wrap for the issue of July 18. And don't forget, you can catch us during the week on Twitter, Facebook and online.